I didn't choose God, he clearly chose me. Because the places I looked for purpose was awful, like looking for love in a brothel, or righteousness in the lawful. I was the prodigal son on his acts of love I tread. He offered me bread, but I chose to be dead instead. I took advice on life from those who had never lived in their life. I was dead in the flesh, feasting on its carnal cravings. I can't completely comprehend how Christ could come and save me. My heart was full of death like a cemetery, but now that my flesh is dead, this is my obituary. Now I'm declared holy by the holy divine, but I'm not wholly mine. I fail often and I can't withstand the struggle, but I know that he's made an indwelling in my heart, a temple out of rubble. For we are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. The Lamb of God desired me so intensely that he gave me his life in order to call me his own, to be his child. Though I often limp, I'm no longer lame. Though I still fall, I'm declared a saint, because my righteousness does not rest in who I am, but whose I am. I'm God's child, Christ's bride, bought with a price. How then can I be condemned? How then can I remain under judgment for sin? I've been born again, but this time a slave to righteousness. I'm a new creation, still undergoing sanctification, but covered in Christ's propitiation. On the tree of Calvary, we clearly see what Jesus thinks of you and me. To offer all of himself as a living sacrifice, the price was right, because through Christ God begot children of light that night. Though I waged war of rebellion, God sent a rescue mission for me, declaring me a friend. The story started with a man, now it's ending with a man.